In the previous movie, I explained how the WMD Digital VCA takes audio coming to its input jack and looks for zero crossings, where the audio waveform is going above or below that center line. This helps it reduce clicks in the audio from this to this. Well, it turns out you can also override that control that it's deriving from the incoming audio waveform. That's what the Update G ZCD jack is for. To show this, I'm going to use one of the sliders on my Chi Max 25 that I set up to create a voltage that goes above zero or below zero. And I'm going to take that output and run that into the Update G ZCD instead. I've got this switch set to ZCD mode, which means it's going to look for either positive going or negative going zero crossings of my reference signal. So as I drag the slider above zero, you'll see it's grabbed the most recent voltage it detected at the CV input and is holding that voltage until it sees another zero crossing at the update G ZCD jack. I'll give it another zero crossing here. As I keep changing it here, you'll see that the level keeps changing as it grabs the envelope at different places. If I shorten this envelope, it'll be more dramatic because it makes it easier for me to grab different values. Gate mode only looks for positive going zero crossings. So I'll switch that middle position, gate. Now only positive transitions select a new level. Negative going ones keep holding the same voltage that it previously sampled at the CV input. Put another positive transition it grabs another level. Now this trick isn't so useful in this patch, but there are occasions where it is useful to have this sample and hold function. So if you give me a second, I'm going to change my patch here, and we'll resume with a more useful example. Okay, let me explain this new patch I've set up. It's basically an FM pair where the digital VCA is helping me control my depth of modulation. I'm taking the pulse wave out from the Moog Mother 32, running it through the digital VCA. That output is coming up on the data. That's the green waveform. That output is actually then modulating the linear FM input on my disting. Then the output of my disting is going through an attenuator because I found that the disting is so loud it can overdrive the Moog. And we can use that to advantage. For example, Here's something somewhat similar to a sine wave with basically a first and third harmonic, a little bit of second. If I wanted to, I could overdrive the Moog and get a lot more harmonics even before I've added FM. But I decided to start with a pure tone, so I actually had to attenuate the input a little bit until I got rid of that extra distortion. On the control side, I'm taking a mod wheel control voltage, routing it to the data so that you can see it here as that blue line, taking a copy of that out, running it to the CV input on the VCA to open up how much of the square wave is modulating the disting over there. And then finally, I'm taking a copy of my gate signal, which indicates a note on, running it through the disting again. It's the yellow trace, so you can see what a note is on and off, and using that as the input for my zero crossing detection to decide when to update the CV coming from my mod wheel to control the modulation depth. When I have this control switch set to instantaneous, it acts like a normal patch. But at the gate and ZCD settings, it will only update on new node ons. Let me set up another arpeggio and show you what that means. Here's a nice repeating note. And keep an eye on the data as I increase the mod wheel. You see that as the blue line, the mod wheel voltage goes up. So does the green trace, which is the square wave modulating the disting. You get some pretty liquid updates as I move the mod wheel. But let's say that I wanted those updates from the mod wheel to only occur when there's a brand new note, to get more of a sample and hold or a quantize sort of feel. But to do that, I'll switch to gate mode, which looks for positive going transitions of my gate signal coming in, a copy of my node ons. Now, my mod wheel changes will only be updated when there's a positive going signal at this update G ZCD input. So 
even though I'm moving the model fluidly, you don't hear that strange rubbery sound in between notes. The index of modulation is only being updated, a new note ons. Now in this case, it's important that I use the gate mode that is only updating the transitions on positive going voltages. If I was to use the ZCD mode, which is looking for both positive and negative going transitions, sometimes we're going to get updates on note offs. Which means the updates and modulation depth happen at strange times. Not the desired effect. I prefer the gate mode where it only happens on a brand new note on. Again, watch that relationship between the yellow gate signal and the green audio coming out of the digital VCA. Notice how it changes at every new note on, even though I'm fluidly moving the mod wheel, that blue line that you're seeing on the data. So in this case, the digital VCA works as a pretty cool little sample and hold, and you don't have the quantization noise that we had in an audio application. So you can think of it as a multifunction module, and there are two of them inside one faceplate. But its main use in life is if you have problems with clicks on transitions that you really want to get rid of, either because you're doing an automated mix, or you're just enveloping a particularly pure low tone, the gate and ZCD settings can help you get rid of that.